Hey guys, and welcome back to the Fantasy Football Profits. First thing I want to say is, hey, it's just me today delivering some quick information on our community league that's coming up this season. In fact, probably going to run multiple leagues. Uh, first thing I want to say to you guys is that if you want to be in the league, congratulations, you're in the league. You don't have to do any work. You don't have to pay any money. It's not difficult at all. I'm going to talk a little bit in a second about what you have to do to be in the league. There's just one quick thing, which is give us your email because that's what we need to invite you. That's the only reason we need it. That's why we need it. And so what you're going to do in this video, if you want to be in the league, make sure to let us know. Drop a comment down below. Say, hey, I want to be in the league and give us your email. If you're uncomfortable putting your email in the comment section below, you don't want other people to see it. You can private message us. You can DM us on Instagram. You can also go on Facebook and you can do it through our website. You can actually go to our website at fantasyfootballprofits.com and there's a little message button and I will get that. So that's first things first, guys. If you want to be in a league, it's going to be a lot of fun. Last year, we had two 16-team leagues, and it was awesome. Um, somebody asked us, hey, can we do maybe 12 or 14? 16 was a bit much, and there was no talent out there in free agent waiver wire, and that made it a little bit boring last year and a little bit difficult. So if possible, we're going to avoid doing any 16-team leagues. We want to bump it down. We want to make it as fun as possible. So our goal for this year is last year we had two 16-team leagues, and then we're going to go through three 12-team leagues. That's the goal. That's 36 teams out there. So the first 36 people, drop your email down below, and we will get you into this. But before we do any more talking about this, I want to congratulate our winners from last season. All right, guys, so here we have our playoff teams. Congratulations to uh, DraftKings, Can Suck It, and High Risk, high risk Low Yield. Uh, you guys won our leagues. That was awesome last season. Everybody else below them, they made playoffs. They had a great season, and they performed very well. It was really fun last year, guys. Other than, like I mentioned earlier, there was like, no, you guys were super aggressive on the free agent waiver wire, on trades. You guys were solid drafting. It was competitive, and it was a lot of fun. I tell you what, if you guys want to be in this league and you haven't been before, be prepared to be in one of the toughest leagues that you will ever be in. Um, and I mean that in a positive way. I don't mean that like you should be scared or you shouldn't join. Um, but it's going to be awesome. I mean, it was really, really fun. So that's the first thing. I just want to take a second to congratulate you guys uh, because you did a great job and you managed your team all the way through. There's nothing more boring and more irritating than somebody who joins a league and doesn't start their lineup, doesn't do waiver wires or trades, and they just sit on their team because they're not doing all that well. And, and that was the one reason that we're going to bump our team from or our league from a 16-team league down uh, a bit is because there was no talent out there. And what happened was, and, and I was in one league where I managed to make playoffs, but I had an injury to, I believe it was my second round pick. And it doesn't matter the details. It was one of my first picks. And I was kind of screwed after that because there was nobody in the waiver wire. We had four or five or six deep bench, and there was 16 teams plus all the stars. I mean, it was insane. I'm looking at wide receiver number 70 trying to fill in my roster and running back number 62 or whatever to try to fill in to start that week. It was just difficult. There just wasn't any talent left. And so that's why we're going to make this adjustment if it is possible. Another thing you guys need to know is our scoring. So let's check that out real quick. All right, so here we are, guys. We've got some scoring here on the side for you to look at uh, as you watch this video. Now, it's pretty typical standard Yahoo scoring, so you don't have to pause the video and read everything through. You can just go to Yahoo and check it out if you like. Uh, we want to keep things as basic as possible, simply because we all come from different fantasy leagues with different scoring, and we want to make this as accessible for everyone as we can so that everyone can feel familiar and comfortable with the scoring. Uh, we're going to do a one-quarterback league. I hate two-quarterback leagues. If you do that, drop a comment down below and tell me why you do two-quarterback leagues. That's just not for me. Anyways, there will be two running backs, three wideouts, a tight end, a kicker, and a defense. We haven't set the bench depth yet. We're going to keep short benches so that there's always some free agent talent out there. That will just keep things moving. More pickups, more drops, more movement, and that's going to also create more equality and give teams that have injuries a better chance. Uh, because we found last year it was just too difficult. If you had an injury, if you had a guy like Melvin Gordon, you, you were kind of out. You really, we were kind of out. Or if you took Le'Veon Bell, he ended up pulling out. You kind of didn't have a shot to win last year. And so we want to give that opportunity back and keep things, keep a lot of parity. Anyways, that's what that's about, guys. All right, so here's what's going on, guys. Now, a few things. 
Again, we've covered some scoring. We covered our winners from last year. It's pretty basic league. There's not a whole lot that you need to understand. It is going to be on Yahoo. Again, I believe that is currently the most common site as far as fantasy leagues go. I believe that is. I could be wrong. I know it was at least a couple of years ago, and so I think most people are familiar with it. That's, again, why we do that. Um, we don't run all of our leagues through Yahoo just to kind of make it uh, nice for everybody as well as you can do it on your phone. Anyways, Drop a comment down below. Let us know you want to be in the league. And one of the things is we haven't selected the date for the draft yet. So if you have a day that you would prefer, maybe let us know. I have zero guarantees you're going to get that day, guys. I cannot guarantee it. There's going to be far too many people. And, of course, me and Rob have to work it into our very tight schedules. I recently got hired, and I'm working at a new position. And so that's been really fun. Rob is doing, like, three weddings, I think, in, like, back-to-back -back weeks or whatever. It's crazy. So there's a lot going on right now. We need to kind of accommodate ourselves first and then we'll get everybody else but it will be an online draft so even if you're at school you're at work you're with family whatever you have going on you can still pretty much do it i remember last season i was at college and i did a draft in class and so i know it's always very possible but anyways that's to let you guys know we haven't picked the date yet. We will announce that. We're going to post it onto our YouTube and our Instagram and our Facebook so that everyone knows. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below and just say, hey, what's going on with this? What's going on with that? What's happening? But I won't waste any more of your time. I wanted to make this a very, very short video. You guys have a great day and God bless.